Spiders creep us out because they have a lot of behaviors that make them unpredictable. They can jump, spin huge tangly webs that get in our faces, and they can run super fast. But what if I told you that out in Florida wilderness, there was also a spider that could fly? The tropical flatwoods of Southeast Florida are home to a wide variety of incredible creatures. I'm Spencer Hoffman, and in my journey to uncover the secrets of the natural world, these habitats have drawn me in because I'm on the lookout for incredibly rare insects and spiders. I'm joined by my good friend Mikey Green on the hunt for an incredibly rare praying mantis, but while we were exploring the edge of the forest, we came across a really special spider. Have a look at this. We got a flatty over here. This is a little flatty, a crescent-eyed spider. Now, they're fast, so I gotta move quick or he will escape. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Got him. Look at that thing. He's weird. Have a look at this creature's anatomy. You can see why they're called flatties. They're extremely, extremely flattened and close to the ground. And the reason they do that is they actually will squeeze into really tight surfaces to hide out during the day, especially during the hottest, brightest parts of the day. But they can also use that appearance to press really flat against the bark where they would blend in perfectly. See that modeling there? They look just like they're part of lichens or even just the general bark texture and their prey items, lots of little insects and smaller spiders that could be found right in this environment wouldn't be able to see them. And you'll notice those little eyes. They're also called crescent eyed spiders. And there's that little crescent of eyes on the top of his head there that sticks out just a little bit from the rest of his body. That allows him to have a really good field of view when he's sitting there hunting, waiting for prey to walk by. Nothing gets past this spider. Even on the side of his cephalothorax there, you can see those two little dots, little sensory eyes on the side that can pick up motion. And because they're so fast, they can turn around and grab something. They can actually pivot using only one leg and can strike in any direction if prey happens on them. And you've already seen, these guys are lightning fast. I gotta watch him really carefully because twice now off camera, he's gone right up my sleeve here. And uh, it's, it's mildly annoying to get him back out. Fortunately, they're not aggressive spiders, as you can see right here, extremely fast, but no threat to me. These spiders have one more incredible trick up their sleeve because while they may be amazing ambush predators, they can actually fly. Now, it's not the easiest thing to see without super sophisticated camera equipment, but we actually got a few really decent drops where you can actually see how the crescent-eyed spider controls its glide on its way down. You know, they're not really flying, they're more falling with style, but that's really all they need to be able to do for this ability. See, crescent-eyed spiders and a lot of the other spiders in this family are actually tropical arboreal spiders. And because of the high biodiversity of the environment they live in, the understory habitat can have a lot of different predators that the canopy does not. So if they're knocked down by a breeze or if they jump to evade a predator up there, they could be hurtling down into certain doom. So their flat body appearance is actually more than just useful for camouflage and squeezing into tight spaces. They can actually use it to their advantage, making them more aerodynamic on their way down and enabling them to actually steer as they fall. It's the only kind of spider and the only arachnid we've been able to see that can actually control its descent during a fall. And uh, while it's not technically flying, that's one thing that makes these spiders absolutely, unbelievably unique. Yes, you right there, you are unique. They're very skittish, as you can see right there, extremely skittish spiders. But just like any other spider you've seen on the channel, not something that actually wants to get us. So maybe they can fly, but they're not flying to try and get you. They're just falling with style when the need arises. Absolutely amazing getting up close with a flatty spider here in Florida and getting to see its incredible ability. Look at you, buddy. You are one awesome spider. Spiders, just like this crescent-eyed spider, are actually fairly common in this part of Florida, but the average person has pretty much no idea about their incredible gliding ability. This is one of my favorite things about exploring the natural world. Even stuff that's lurking in our literal backyards can break the rules in really unexpected ways. And spiders are not the only group of animals that seem to break the rules of physics. One of the toughest animals on the planet is also one of the smallest. 
and I guarantee you that it is in fact lurking in your backyard. If you want to learn more about the incredible water bear, check out this video right here. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.